Hey guys, it's Adi here and today we're going to take a look at an app called Clipstack. Uh, it is a clipboard manager. I know it sounds really simple, but trust me, it is a very powerful app. Uh, the app itself is a free app on the Google Play Store. As always, you can find the link in the description below the like button. So without wasting any more time, let's check it out. So this is how the app itself looks. It greets you with the recently copied text and articles. And at the top of the app, you can find a search button a favorites toggle on and off and of course an option button which has clear all backup and settings which are pretty self-explanatory and at the bottom you can find an add button where you can add a new clip so that you can copy it later the favorites toggle on and off is pretty self-explanatory uh, when you toggle on it just shows you the articles that has been favorited by you before showing you guys how the app itself works uh, let me show you guys the settings menu the settings menu contains the service toggle on and off which lets the app listen to the clipboard in the background. You can also set the storage limit to either infinite one day, seven day or 30 days. That's the amount of days the clipboard will remember your history. You also got an option to either select the click action to either click to edit and long click to copy or just one single click to copy and long click to edit. The default option is the first one, I prefer the second one. And you also got an option to turn on floating button on and off, which I'll show you guys a bit later. And you also got an option to turn on notifications and you can also set the notification priority to either high, middle or low. And you can also pin notifications if you want. So now that I showed you guys the settings menu, let's check out how the app itself works. So let's say you're in Google Chrome and you're reading an article and let's say you find a paragraph really interesting. You copy the paragraph like you always do, just select it and then copy. And let's say you're reading through the article and you find another paragraph really interesting. All you do is just select the paragraph that you want and click on copy. So now the problem is, with the default Android's clipboard, the clipboard only remembers the latest one that you copied. But what Clipstack does, it remembers everything that you copied. And to access those, since we turned on the notification, you can just access it from your notification bar. So you can find the recently copied articles or text right here, and you can even share it straight away from here to any other app you want like Dropbox or Evernote or Twitter or Facebook, anything you name it. Let's say you're in a Word document or any other app and let's say you want to copy, sorry, let's say you want to paste the articles or the paragraph that you copied from that article. All you have to do is drag down the notification, select which one you want, copy it and then paste it. And let's say you want to paste another paragraph all you have to do is find the paragraph, select it, and then paste it right here. So this is how powerful the app itself is. It remembers everything that you copy to your clipboard, or you can choose a certain amount of time through which it remembers everything. But Adi, my phone is really big. I have a six inch Nexus. I cannot go and access my notification bar all the time to copy a text. Okay, for users like those, let's go back into the app itself, into the settings. This is where this floating button comes in. When you toggle on the floating button, it shows you a button or a bubble where when you click on it, it shows everything on your clipboard. You can just copy it right from here and it is copied and you can paste it wherever you want. You can also select to show the floating button always on the screen or only when you're typing. Browser is still not supported. Hope the developer supports it or the developer gives an update where it supports it. You can also delete a text from your clipboard by just swiping and you can you also get an undo button so that let's say you deleted an article by or a text by mistake from your clipboard you just click on un undo and it brings it back without any problem. I do understand that a couple of phones do come with this functionality built in like for LG and I also think Samsung has this but for most of the phones out there this functionality is not available so this is a really powerful app and uh, you can try it out. It is a free app on the Google Play Store. You're not going to lose anything. Uh, trust me guys, it is a very powerful app and I highly recommend this app. Uh, it is a free app. You can find the link in the description as I said before. Anyway guys, thank you for watching as always. Be sure to like, share and comment on the video below and let me know if you guys tried out this app. And as always guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the red subscribe button below the video. It really does help the channel a lot. And once again guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Adi here, signing off.